beginning this evening with a proposal to split California into three different states. The Central Coast would actually fall into two different states. San Benito and Monterey counties would be in so-called California, and Santa Cruz County would fall into Northern California. The proposal does qualify for the November ballot now. Backers say that Californians stand to reap the benefits of a smaller government, but opponents say it wouldn't solve any of the state's problems. Action News reporter Max Resnick has more on both sides of the California breakup debate. The country's most populous state could be split in three. That's if Cal 3 gets its way. Why would you want to split California into three states? I like it the way we are now. Cal 3, led by venture capitalist Tim Draper, is the group behind the ballot initiative to break up California. Right now, Sacramento may be attending to the needs of Silicon Valley, but it's certainly not paying attention to Imperial Valley. Spokesperson Peggy Grandy points to the state's low rankings in quality of life, education, and taxation as reasons to support the measure in November. By breaking California up into three states, all of a sudden you've got a state government that has to be responsive to you and will be more reflective of the needs and the priorities of individual communities. Grandy says 49 other smaller states are outperforming California, proof she says of what is possible. Is Alabama better at anything than what California is? Is Mississippi better than California? Is Rhode Island better? Stephen Maviglio of One California, the committee opposing the measure, calls the idea a massive distraction that will allow California to be mocked by the rest of the country. It's not like we're starting from scratch here. Uh, we'd have to break up everything first. Parks, prisons, would you be paying out-of-state tuition if your kid goes to school in Southern California? Uh, all those things have to be considered. The idea to break up the state is nothing new to Californians or Draper. There was an effort in 2014 by uh, Mr. Draper to also put a measure on the ballot to split the state at that time into six parts, and, and that failed. So this has been tried before uh, a number of times and has never gone anywhere. Whether opinion swings the other way remains to be seen. Max Resnick reporting for us. As for the man behind the measure, Tim Draper is a Silicon Valley billionaire investor born in San Francisco. He attended Stanford University. This is, as you heard Kevin mention, this is the third time he has tried to get voters to weigh in on breaking up California. The proposers in 2012 and 2014 would have created six states. Both of those failed to get enough valid signatures. Governor Brown is endorsing Gavin Newsom to replace him as governor. It was expected as Newsom is the only Democrat in the November election. Governor Brown said that Newsom is the right man for the job. There's a time for an old guy and there's a time for a young guy. There's a time with uh, no hair on the top of your head. There's a time for a guy with really nice hair, I have to say. So, you know, there's always a time for something. I was the right man at the right time. Right now, Gavin Newsom is the right man at the right time for the next four years in California. Newsom will face off against Republican John Cox, who has been endorsed by President Trump. Gavin Newsom has encouraged the president to come campaign for Cox. In San Francisco, a close race for mayor now has a clear winner. London Breed is now poised to be the first African-American woman to lead San Francisco after her opponent, State Senator Mark Leno, conceded the race today. Breed had pulled ahead of Leno by about 2,200 votes, with at least 7,000 left to be processed.